What's up, everybody? And welcome to Comics Icons. Now, JJ, what they call me. And today, we're going to be breaking down Miss Marvel, The New Mutant, issue number four, the series conclusion. Now, issue four begins in the destruction from the Stark Sentinel as Kamala's room is absolutely wrecked. I mean, the Sentinel blew the roof off the joint. As we see Kamala start to come to grips with being a mutant, Bruno, meanwhile, is like, what the hell? Did a giant Iron Man just try to take us out? And Kamala's like, yeah, but how did they find me? And that's when Bruno revealed that there was a tiny drone in the scalp. She then gets ready for battle with the Sentinel while having Bruno work on a plan B, since he seems to get an idea when he sees a project that Kamala's roomie was working on. Miss Marvel now engages in a fight with the Stark Sentinel as she begins to wrap around his face and get it to shoot itself, which of course doesn't work. She then realizes that she can't contact the X-Men because Orcus would just intercept the call and find their location. Then, the Sentinel tries to blast her as she shrinks down to avoid it and concludes that she's on her own. The Sentinel then tries to stomp on her and she's able to get up out of the way. Miss Marvel then notices through it the crack in the ground left by the stomp of the Stark Sentinel that the Orcus lab is right underneath them. She also notices that the targeting sensors of the Sentinel can't see her when she shrinks down. Meanwhile, back at the dorms, Bruno is trying to build a fusion bomb and tries asking Kamala's roommate for help. But when her and the rest of the students realize that he's trying to help save Miss Marvel, they begin to turn on Bruno. Bruno then gives a big rah-rah speech about blindly passing judgment. And of course, through the powers of comic book logic, this works. And the students begin to help him out. They then look at the fight between Miss Marvel and the Sentinel and now all of a sudden they're concerned for Miss Marvel as Rumi now tells Bruno that his power source isn't going to be strong enough Bruno then gets an idea for a stronger source Miss Marvel then notices some rubble from a fight about to crush the students and she stretches in to save the students lives meanwhile they're able to get the fusion bomb to what to use against the Sentinel. They then tell her that she needs to attach it to the Sentinel's chest right before its repulsor fires up. Once it's attached, she'd have five seconds to get up out of there. The Sentinel then scoops up Miss Marvel with the bomb in hand, of course, and as it charges up its repulsor, Miss Marvel is able to attach the bomb to the Sentinel's chest and slippery slides right on up out of his hand. And boom! The Sentinel is destroyed. And it falls through the ground. As Miss Marvel and the rest of the students look on, marveling at the joys of science, they notice the destroyed Orcus lab right beneath the down Sentinel. As the students now realize, I was underneath the science center the whole time. Miss Marvel then finds a pen, Karima, and decides to save her. Karima lets Miss Marvel know that it was foolish to try to save her. You not being altruistic. This is a mere PR stunt, she tells her. She then tells Miss Marvel and she barely took down one sentinel and more on the way how you think you're gonna fare now and as long as you wear that X on your clothes you'll never be safe so run and hide little mutant for the rest of your life 
Miss Marvel then goes back to the mutant bunker to celebrate destroying the Orcus lab with the rest of the X-Men. As they celebrate Miss Marvel's lucky win, even Shadowcat seems to be impressed that she was able to take down a Sentinel by herself. I guess Miss Marvel didn't tell her about the help of the kids, the students, but I digress. Shadowcat then tells her, hey, let's not high five just yet, as this just gives Orcus more data to study them with. We later see the Orcus scientist Nikita Gaia in India as she gets a call from Karima who blames her for taking it easy on Miss Marvel by only sending one sentinel and she admits of course she admits to it as we learn that she's downloading the DNA from Miss Marvel and the sentinel fight she been studying Miss Marvel the whole time Afterwards, we get Emma Frost taking Miss Marvel to get her uniform fixed. When she reveals to Miss Marvel that she was aware of her nightmares the whole time, but she couldn't really help out as it was something Miss Marvel or Kamala had to fix herself. Kamala then tells Emma that she could have said something, but of course Emma Frost tells her, look, there was really nothing I could do for you. She also tells Kamala that they were able to map her mind and access her mutation. But going through the Terrigen Mist was like severing a tree branch to her mutant powers. But they've since grown back. But we couldn't be sure if the mutant powers would cancel out the inhuman powers or add to them. Miss Marvel then tells Emma, she's like, look, I'm not going to try and access this mutation right now. She's just going to let everything happen as it's going to happen. And she's not looking to change anything else about herself. Emma then gives Miss Marvel a missing bangle that had you know, been missing from her outfit since Spider-Man had returned it. And as we come to an end, we see Kamala finally happy in her own skin and back with her family able to sleep at night and this is the end of the new mutant miss marvel series so feel free to check out the miss marvel the new mutant playlist down below to get each issue of this series in its entirety and stay tuned to the next Comics Icons episode to hear which iconic character we get next. And if you like to show this channel some love, please, please, please like, share, and subscribe for more icons in the comic book world. Peace.